Hello. Hey everyone, I'm Scott and I'll be your vocal coach for today. What's up? When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want but not what you need When you feel so tired but you can't sleep Stuck in reverse And the tears come streaming down your face When you lose something you can't replace When you love someone but it goes to waste Could it So I'm noticing certain things about Barasena's vocals here. Let's unpack them together. Number one is breathiness. Now using breath intentionally to deliver your phrases is a great way to open up the song. Barasena's vocals is very gentle and soothing and this creates a sense of intimacy and closeness. When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want but not what you need Two, his vocal registration flip into his head voice on the word reverse. Stuck in reverse. Number three, his personalized flourishes. I like how he's adding his own style and essence here. His vocal runs are so smooth. Stuck in reverse. Four is S consonant. We can hear a gentle release, and this is adding clarity to his expression. And the tears come streaming down your face when you lose something you can't replace. When you love someone, but it goes to waste. Number five is breaking away of melodic. Do you notice how he didn't repeat the same vocal run? Instead, what did he do? Yeah, he simplified it this time. And this creates excitement and variety to the way his voice moves. Stuck in reverse Could it be worse? Number six his gentle landing as the melody moves down in pitch. I love his approach to the words guide and ignite. Lights will guide you home and ignite your bones. And finally, number seven, his exploration of contrasting elements. There's a nice balance between his thick, clean sounds and his breathy release on the word you. Let's replay it. I will try to fix you.
talk about six things that I'm hearing. Number one, the way Barasena plays with different degrees of darkness in his voice. How does he do this? Well, he uses his lips to create different shapes and this informs his sound color. And high up above or down below. Number two, the way he takes a quick inhale before the start of every vocal line. He's basically getting himself ready to come into the next phrase in time. When you do The way his mouth swerves to one side. And this movement changes the shape and the sonic texture of the vowel. We can hear this happening in the word go. So it's the little details that he takes care of that makes his version so unique. To let it go. Number four, the way he starts on pitch instead of sliding into it on the word but. But if you never try, you never know. The way he flips into his falsetto and makes instinctive choices to move his voice up or down. This creates really interesting movement. Just what you want. And finally, number six. The way he tastefully adds or subtracts his vocal runs. He knows when to add them in, but also when to keep it really simple and straightforward. It's all about balance, right? Let's have a listen. Let's unpack 11 things together. Number one, that change in tempo. Everything is pulled back instrumentally and this gives his voice space to stand out. Tears dream. Number two, that little vocal throw. This is adding a little edge to his phrasing. Down your face, face. Number three, that quick breathy cue. Again, he's creating a layered sonic landscape for us, the listeners. Well, does it have? Well, it builds tension. I find myself holding my breath and wondering, where is he going to take it? Number five, that release. He releases this tension by producing a really beautiful vocal run. He's manipulating that vowel with his lips. Every note is so clear and so precise. It's amazing. Number six, I love seeing him anchor into those high notes with his body. He's embodying that sound and showing a lot of commitment. We can hear this on the word scream. Number 
7. I love how he's grabbing my attention by moving his voice in unexpected directions. His voice rises and falls with such grace and control and that evokes a range of emotions within us. I love his transition into his lighter, mixier, thinner sound and then back into his sweeter, warmer, more fixed sound. Number 9. I love the way Barsena ends his vocal lines. He uses a quick vocal riff. consonant in bones. He adds a sonic punch to that phrase. Your bones, bones. And finally, number 11. I love the way he ends the song. He's using his soft, breathy voice. His vibrato is so even and it's oscillating very nicely. I will try to fix you. Barsena's performance was incredible. His tone was so sweet and his vocal runs were so tasteful. His rendition is a testament to his talent as a vocalist and he effortlessly communicated the song's message. It was really, really nice. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for being here, for learning with me. And thank you to everyone who recommended this performance of his. Again, I really appreciate every one of you who show up every single week. It really means a lot to me. Head on over and watch other amazing singers on the channel as well. And I'll catch you there.